Bolivia saw massive demonstrations on Saturday in favor of and against President Evo Morales, the country's first indigenous president. Morales and his majority coalition are proposing a new constitution which would grant more power to the country's indigenous majority, give the federal government more control over the country's natural resources, increase taxes, limit land holdings, and allow a president to serve two consecutive terms. Morales was elected two years ago by a majority of voters on a platform of broad social change and is seen as a representative of the country's long impoverished majority. The country is divided along the lines of race and class over the new constitution. The opposition members in the wealthy states oppose it. The lowland states want to keep two-thirds of their tax revenues, while Morales' reforms would assure some of that wealth is redistributed to the poorer highland regions. As with coverage of Venezuela's recent constitutional reform, much of the media has focused only on the term limit question. On Saturday, Bolivia's four lowland states declared their intention to become autonomous. Those states are home to most of the country's natural gas reserves and to the wealthy, most of whom are white or mestizo. Also on Saturday, Morales held a rally to celebrate the new proposed constitution in La Paz, located in the highlands where the country's majority lives. Señor Presidente, deje de desprestigiar esta autonomía. Le propongo que lea nuestro estatuto. Le propongo que lea nuestro estatuto para darse cuenta de que esta es la autonomía de la unidad y no de la separación, como usted anda diciendo para mentirle al pueblo y al mundo. ¡Que comience la fiesta autonómica! Ni de la policía, ni de la 